the Associated Press, there's the verdict and its implications on the presidential race in November. And ito na, pakita na natin. Let's watch this. Former President Donald Trump has been convicted in his hush money trial in New York City. This is a really significant moment. It's the first time in history that a former American president has been convicted in a criminal trial of felony charges. This is a moment that's going to matter both legally and politically. Legally, these are 34 felony charges that carry four years in prison, although it's not known whether prosecutors are going to seek any prison time or whether the judge is going to impose any prison time. Politically, the Implications remain to be seen, but there's no question that Trump is going to clearly try to rally his base and to try to get voters and his supporters to believe that this is a case of political persecution, as he has long maintained. But it's also possible that American voters are going to be turned off by the idea of electing a, a candidate who is now a convicted felon. This case has been unfolding for months. It concerns hush money payments, the prosecutors say, were made to a porn actor who alleged that she had an extramarital sexual encounter with Trump a decade before the 2016 presidential election. And prosecutors say Stormy Daniels was paid to keep quiet and to prevent those claims of a sexual relationship from surfacing during the final days of the 2016 presidential election. And the allegations here were that Trump falsified business records to prevent the true nature of those payments from being revealed. All right, ito naman ang immediate reaction ni Donald Trump after the conviction ano, sa New York. This is still courtesy of the Associated Press. Are you worried about coming to jail? This was a disgrace. This was a rigged trial by a conflicted judge who was corrupt. It's a rigged trial, a disgrace. They wouldn't give us a venue change. We were at 5% or 6% in this district, in this area. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. The real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. And they know what happened here, and everybody knows what happened here. You have a Soros-backed DA, and the whole thing, we didn't do a thing wrong. I'm a very innocent man. And it's okay. I'm fighting for our country. I'm fighting for our Constitution. Our whole country is being rigged right now. This was done by the Biden administration in order to wound or hurt an opponent, a political opponent. And I think it's a, just a disgrace. And we'll keep fighting. We'll fight till the end and we'll win. Now, here's what went on before the verdict. Donald Trump said that the hush money case against him is so loaded and so rigged that even the iconic Mother Teresa, Teresa rather, can get off and have an acquittal. Let's hear that soundbite from Mr. Trump. In listening to the charges from the judge, who's, as you know, very conflicted and corrupt because of the confliction, very, very corrupt. Mother Teresa could not beat these charges. These charges are rigged. The whole thing is rigged. The whole country's a mess between the borders and fake elections and you have a trial like this. This judge contributed to Joe Biden and far worse than that, but I'm not allowed to talk about it because I have a gag order. Far worse than that, by a thousand times worse than that. The worst I've ever heard, but I can't talk about it. It'll be talked about, but I'm not allowed to talk about it. But it'll be talked about in the history books. What's happening here is weaponization at a level that nobody's seen before, ever. Si Donald Trump lang ang magsasabi na after everything, after calling the judge corrupt, sasabihin niya bigla, I can't, I can't talk, talk about it. Sa dami nung sinabi. Alam mo, sinabi. dapat ka nakulong na for contempt. Kasi ilang beses binrake yung ano na yan. Mm-hmm. Yung, uh, <clears throat> pero, grabe no, Mother Theresa. Oo. <laughs> Naikumpara, sabi, no? Sabi ni Jimmy Kimmel, Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm sure Mother Theresa never had to pay off any porn star. <laughs> Pero hindi lang po yan yung mga videos na meron tayo. The last video we're showing you is that of actor Robert De Niro, who came to New York not only for Trump's verdict, but to bring his campaign right in the court compound. He's supporting the Biden-Harris tandem. No love lost between De Niro and Trump. Watch this. New Yorkers. When Trump ran in 2016, it was like a joke. This buffoon running for president. No, never could happen. We'd forgotten the lessons of history that showed us other clowns 
who weren't taken seriously until they became vicious dictators. With Trump, we have a second chance. And no one is laughing now. This is the time to stop him by voting him out once and for all. We don't want to wake up after the election saying, what, again? My God, what the hell have we done? <clears throat> we can't have that happen again. This is not a threat. This is a reality. And that's why I've joined the Biden-Harris campaign, because the only way to preserve our freedoms and hold on to our humanity is to vote for Joe Biden for president. Now, the sentencing is set for July 11, or four days before the beginning of the Republican National Convention. Trump could face up to four years in prison but could get a probation. Appeal is expected. Could be years also before this particular case is resolved. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, anong posta mo? Sabi ng iba, na regardless of everything, Mukhang mananalo pa din. Mataas pa rin ang rating si Trump. At lalong-lalo na, if he plays this to his dramatic advantage, mm -hmm. siya'y magmumukhang kawawa, siya'y magmumukhang they're, they're gang, gang up, up on yep. him. Mm -hmm. Tapos the system is rigged, corrupt. At ang ironic dito, si Trump ay New York kalaha. Marami siyang properties dyan. Yes. Si Robert De Niro ay New Yorker din. May mga business siya dyan, mm -hmm. yung Tribeca. Ay, ay yung uh, restaurant na yun. Ano? Ah... Meron doon sa uh, City of Jersey. But anyway, oh. ang malupit dito, si Trump daw, sa isang report, si Trump, di ba tawag sa kanya, si the, the Orange Wonder, mm. <laughs> kasi kulay orange oh. yan, na mula raw talaga si Trump. So, ibig sabihin, galit na galit siya nung uh, binasa yung verdict. Mm -hmm. At first time ko yata siya nakita na, hindi ginalaw yung kamay. Mm. At yung ganong facial expression niya, parang wow. Parang binagsakan siya ng langit at lupa. Ay. Pero yung mga anak ni Trump, kaha, yung kay Robert De Niro pala, mm. was yesterday, no? So, humirit yung mga anak. Si, si, um, si Eric and the Donald Trump Jr. sa washed up actor daw, itong si Robert De Niro, etc., etc. Wala na raw mm -hmm. uh, Remind na, may mag, sana may magpaalala sa kanya na nominated for the last Oscars dahil sa uh, Killers of the Flower Moon, mm -hmm. itong si Robert De Niro. At kahit sabi mo matagal na siya hindi nagtrabaho, Robert De Niro pa rin siya. Is Robert De Niro, yes. exactly. Mm -hmm. Ito, pag-usapan naman natin kasi kanina nabanggit mo yung binagsaka. No? Ito, on philstar.com, North Korea sends balloons of trash, feces, into South as gifts of sincerity. Mm -hmm. At least sincere. <laughs> Mamili ka yan o intercontinental ballistic missile. Uh, ang hirap atang mamili pero kasi either way... Um, Ikinagalit eh talaga ito ng ano, no? Kailangan mo talagang gamitin yung word na feces. Hindi ba pwedeng refuse, parang ganyan, or waste? Eh, ayun kasi yung ano... Kung kailan pa naman kakain tayo ng spaghetti, tsaka maginamit ito. O sige, pagka time out, doon na lang natin ano, doon mo na lang kainin yan. Si Mr. Smith nga kahapon, sinabi niya, do sa river, di ba? Other things you cannot mention on air. I'm sure may mga patay na aso yan sa kahapon. Eh, pero yun naman talaga yung na yung sinabi, no, na di umanong laman nung balloons na pinadala and uh, Seoul's military is now slamming Pyongyang uh, for their quote-unquote low-class actions. Low-class actions? Oo. Kumbaga walang dangal, ganyan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh kasi baka hindi gumagana yung mga missiles sa North Korea. <laughs> so yan muna yung pasabog nila. Ay matindi yan ha? Oo. Oo. Actually, the citizens of the South also were advised na pag may, may makita, just go inside the house, wag daw galawin. <laughs> eh, kasi, eh, syempre, kung may mga pinapadalang mga ganyan, hindi mo alam kung ano yung next siguro na laman ng mga plastic na yun, ng mga balloons na yun. Hindi nyo alam, baka may radioactive material pala yan, may mga lason yan. Pepe, diba? isa yan sa mga nagiging ano, no, pumapasok sa isip ng mga people in authority okay. in the South. That's mm -hmm. why, again, Um, South Koreans were advised to just stay inside the house, avoid outdoor activities, at pag may nakita is to just to report it. Oh, yun na tinatawag na crash landing on yo! Oh, matindi-tindi yun.